Hi, everybody. I uh, just wanted to let you know a few uh, things about uh, sixth grade Spanish. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there tonight, but I did want to let you know a few uh, things about what's going to be going on uh, in this first quarter for your child. And then I'll give you a little bit more information about what's going on in some of your other quarters. Uh, for this quarter in Spanish with me, I'm Mr. Han. Uh, we'll be learning uh, kind of some basics about Spanish. Uh, we'll kind of be going through the numbers, very simple, simple, simple uh, verb conjugation. Mostly we're going to be talking about things like subject pronouns, numbers, uh, days of the week, months of the year, uh, things like that. Kind of giving your child a very, very basic introduction to Spanish uh, as they uh, prepare for seventh grade and then they uh, are given a choice between uh, French or Spanish uh, to take during seventh and eighth grade. So mentioning that, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that um, after this quarter, uh, your child will be uh, rolling through a few other uh, classes, one of which is French, that's with Miss Ray. Uh, the other two classes that they will have is a health class and additionally a math class. Uh, so those are the four things that they will go through uh, this year, uh, one per quarter. Uh, so all that being said, uh, let me talk you through uh, some uh, my website. Just kind of want to give you uh, some information as to how, where you can go and learn more about what your child is doing in Spanish right now. So this is my site right here. Uh, in order to get there, it's pretty easy. You just go to mrhan.net, and that's kind of how you get yourself uh, to this. Uh, it's pretty. Um, try to keep the. Uh, URL as simple as possible so that everybody can remember it, M-R-H-A-H-N dot N-E-T. Um, and we're going to use this quite a bit in class, uh, especially once the students have the laptops in hand. Uh, what you'll find is that over here is stuff for sixth graders. Uh, for example, right now we're learning about uh, the English to the Spanish pronouns and the Spanish numbers 1 through 20. Uh, right here is my email address, so if you have any questions about anything going on, you can just drop me an email from right here. One thing I do want to let you know about is uh, the way that we're going to study for a lot of things uh, in Spanish is through this website called Quizlet. If you click on one of these sites, what you'll see is that there is a, basically a set of flashcards here, kind of digital flashcards. Um, and what you can do here is students can kind of very quickly learn uh, the vocabulary that they need to know. Uh, one of the easiest ways, I think, is to go through this learn part here in the uh, study section. And then it asks uh, the students to try each of these, uh, each of these pronouns. Uh, you'll notice I'll miss this one on purpose. Um, I hit answer, and it will tell me, okay, well, that one's incorrect. Um, the nice thing about this is once I get through all of the remaining terms, it will make me go back through and do all of the ones that I got incorrect until I have all of those correct. Uh, so it's kind of a nice way to make sure that you have all of those done. At the same time, another thing that you can do is play these games called Scatter and Space Race. Scatter is essentially a game that you play in order to match things up, match up the terms between the two languages. So you'll simply take the word and then you'll drop it onto its uh, counterpart in the other, other language. Uh, so you kind of go through this, and it's just a way to try and figure out oh, how quickly can you do this. Uh, the other game that I really like is uh, Space Race, because um, it again is a game that the students kind of build up points. Uh, so if you play here, uh, basically it wants you to type in the correct answer and as you do that you build up points as you can see in the lower right hand corner here um, and eventually these get very very quick uh, to the point where the students have a full screen of words up here the nice thing about that is once that happens and the students have a ton of words here it's very clear that they then know all of those and then when it comes time for the quiz they are more than prepared for it so this is just kind of a nice way for the students to get prepared for any quizzes that we have. And that's kind of how we'll do it um, here in Spanish. So once again, my website is mrhan.net. And from there, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to email me using the uh, 
the website, or excuse me, the email address that you find right here. Additionally, uh, this is a place where you can always click right here for Skyward Access. Thanks very much.